What happens when activism backfires? I make fun of it. I am Mecca, and we are making fun of today the Peter Dinklage dwarfening. The dwarf, the seven dwarfs that he read about it. He is a super wokeier than now, sort of zealot person, and had a problem with everything except the fact that a woman of Latin is it. La <laughs> She's not white. We'll just put it like that because I'm not going to use any slurs or anything accidentally until these people can figure out what the hell the proper politically correct term is that doesn't honk off the people that you are trying to, I don't know, appear wokier than thou and morally superior to by giving them a handout and using them as excess an accessory. I guess that's what it really, really feels like. And this is one more of those examples where people are like, hey, you want to shut the crap up? Some of us are going to be out of a job if you activists don't shut your mouths. Like the dwarves, like the seven little people that got really honked off at Peter Dinklage this time. Exclusive, this is from the Daily Mail. Peter Dinklage just put seven of us out of a job. Dwarf actors furious at Disney for canceling the seven dwarves from the Snow White remake because the woke multi-millionaire Game of Thrones star said they were offensive. It's an offensive only if uh, other people are playing them um, to him, I guess. I don't know. It just seems a little bit in poor taste entirely. The entire Snow White thing. The whole fairy tale. The prince comes along, kisses that woman against her will. Uh, you're going to have the <clears throat> feminist <clears throat> excuse me, ringing and complaining about that one. You're going to have the people ringing. And Actually, I'm the only one who's pointed out that they have a, a non-white actress playing Snow White. Only to have her serve seven and other mythical creatures it was men for a while which i know i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking what side of the aisle are you on i'm on the side that makes fun of the wokey than thou's and the zealots and the people who think that this is all going to be fixed over crapping night you know what we had when i was a teenager we had a book and this uh, this is going back this is a ways probably like 93. i had a teacher bring in snow white and the seven vertically challenged men who were, you know, th that was the politically correct terminology back then. And now, well now, who the crap knows what's politically correct or cares anymore? Because we're frankly tired of it. We're tired of walking on eggshells and our opinions being held hostage by a bunch of wokier than thou zealots who feel that they have to have power over everybody because they feel superior to others. And they're usually a bunch of screaming Karens, aren't they? Aren't they? Or, or activists or bleeding heart sort of people. Oh, fuck those people. I get tired of hearing it. I get really, really tired of hearing it so here's some of the actors that are taking offense speaking to the dailymail.com dylan posty is that posty or postel said dinklage had no issue playing roles in game of thrones where he was paid 1.2 million per episode as Tyrion lannister but has now decided to become progressive he said it harms other actors opportunities uh i thought i thought you didn't want to put people out of a job there Dylan was Hornswoggle a leprechaun on WWE for 10 years. He slammed Dinklage as selfish, stupid, and dumb for calling those roles backwards. I don't know if Peter Dinklage is still acting or if he's done now, but I don't know. It's pretty selfish. People came before him. If it's his mindset that he wants to be the only one then you gotta grow up man that's what it kind of feels like it feels like it's just good enough for him oh yeah he can get all the roles oh but it's offensive to everyone it's like when these blonde actress whammons come out and they're like oh my god we need to step down and have more roles for diversity and like oh my god and then they never step down and they still want to hog all the credit and be the focus of you know your cinematic universe i am mecca and i will see you guys on the next video live stream or wherever bye Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video!